Jared Poland, photo.com and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. JaredPoland.com is built using Squarespace and I wouldn't use anything else if you're a photographer or a creative. It's simple, easy, affordable, and you don't need to know any coding. To get a 14-day free trial without a credit card, go to squarespace.com slash photo. Now, if you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, have you ever wondered what would happen if a drone was to strike a wing of an airplane? Well, wonder no more as scientists at the University of Dayton Research Institute published a video that showcases exactly what would happen. They say these tests prove large aircraft won't always win in a collision with small drones. For the test, the researchers fired a 2.1 pound DJI Phantom 2 drone at 238 miles per hour to see what would happen. Dan, go ahead and roll that footage. No, not Randy Johnson hitting a bird. Holy f we're all going to die. If you're wondering what would happen if a bird struck a wing, and for the purposes of this video, let's say it was a Canadian goose, researchers showed the bird would do more damage to the wing, but the drone would penetrate deeper and do more internal damage. The moral of the story is, beware of Canadian geese and Canadians. Actually, no, the moral of the story is, if you're going to fly a drone, don't crash it into a damn plane. Are you a Windows 10 user? Did you possibly manually install the October 2018 update that was released on October 2nd? Well, if so, you might want to make sure all your porn spanked revision. I mean, photos and videos are still safe and sound. It turns out that some people who installed the update reported that their personal documents folder had been purged. That means photos, videos, music, documents, porn, and any other files you had hiding there were nowhere to be found. There's good news though, if you're using a Mac like I do, you're safe and sound from this issue. Hey! Microsoft responded quickly and said, we have paused the rollout of Windows 10 October 2018 update version 1809 for all users as we investigate isolated reports reports of users missing some files after updating. If you're someone who did install the new firmware, Microsoft has a message for you. You should minimize use of the affected device and immediately call 1-800-MICROSOFT. Now, if that one's busy, try 1-900-MIX-A-LOT because baby got back. They continue in saying the support teams have the tools to get you back to a good state. Now, what state might that be? Texas? Because Texas is not a good state. Holy dog, Texas! And if Canada was a state, I would have said Canada, but it's a country. Canada. Next up, just when you thought two cameras were enough for your mobile phone photos, think again. Lenovo is teasing the world with the Z5 Pro with quad cameras. Well, shit, if it says Pro in the name, it's gotta be good. I'd have gone Pro. It's been confirmed that one of the four cameras will be a 2X telephoto lens. Now let's see if we can predict what the other three will do. Now I think one of them will be a wide angle, the other will be an ultra wide angle, and the last, well, it probably will be a macro lens for all those people looking to take dick pics. Who actually needs four cameras in a cell phone when you can have 16? You know, in the light L16 camera. Actually, what this all really means is that Sony will be laughing all the way to the bank since they own the mobile phone sensor market. And finally, Google has unveiled the Pixel 3, now with more AI for making sure you never miss the shot. It's true, Dan, that's actually what they say. Anyway, Google had this to say, we're taking more photos on our phones than ever before, but we still often miss the perfect moment. Pixel 3 helps you get the perfect shot on the first try. Ooh, tell me more. Here's how the best camera gets even better with the Pixel 3, not an ad. Capture smiles, not blinks with a feature called Top Shot, which uses AI to basically take a million photos and then suggest the one that it thinks is the perfect shot. Then they say you can get better zoom. Even though the Pixel 3 only has one rear facing camera, they say it uses computational photography to get you sharper, more detailed photos when you zoom. Whatever you say, Google, whatever you say. Here's my favorite new feature that they call Night Sight. Light bright. No light. light bright. No problem. Turn on the magic of colored light. Pixel 3 lets you take natural looking photos in dark surroundings. 
surroundings, all without a flash, with Night Sight Night coming soon to Pixel 3, which makes no sense. The Pixel 3 is coming soon already. Just put the damn Night Sight on it. You can take bright, detailed, colorful shots around the campfire, in a moonlit forest, or a selfie after you close out the bar. Dan, something tells me they usually turn the lights on at the bar and you don't want a selfie with that person you've been talking to. Closing out bars, you say? You're drunk, Google! You're drunk! It's closing time! Time for you to go home! To the places you will. I'm not gonna drink the Kool-Aid on this one. I'd love to see if no light really means no problems, because in my experience, no light means mo problems. Oh, you absolutely right, Mr. Man. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.